साई साई इन ड्रीम्स ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री सरस्वत्य नम ओम श्री समर्थ सद्गुरु साईनाथाय नम आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक ऑन द टॉपिक साई इन ड्रीम्स आई विल स्टार्ट टू डेज डिस्कोर्स विथ अ रिक्वेस्ट टू एक्सेप्ट माय प्रणाम्स आई थिंक द कवरेज ऑफ इवेंट्स विल बी मोर इंटरेस्टिंग टू दोज who read sai satcharitra on regularly many people say that whatever incidents we come across are reflected in our dreams but in case of sai devotees it is totally different let us know about the genesis of dreams and basic information on dreams many saints have talked about the process of dreams in our ancient astadasa puranas and other literary books human body has a special significance attached to the process in the evolution of dreams there are many hidden powers in the body one of them is ability to dream good or bad happenings we come across in our daily life would be reflected in the form of dreams when we are asleep some people say that dreams come as a result of disturbed sleep and they may make no sense however I have a different opinion there are many instances where in coming events are indicated in dreams well before the events actually taking place let us not forget that buddha kosika rushi maharshi conveyed rama raksha stotram received in his dream to his shishyas not only indians but many foreigners also have lot of faith in dreams as per the historians indian king ashoka Greek king Alexander and Central Asian king Genghis Khan were greatly influenced by their dreams. The great European writer Shakespeare mentioned the importance of dreams at many places in his writings. In Ramayana also many events in Ayodhya Kanda, Sundara Kanda and Yuddha Kanda have references traced to dreams. In Ayodhya Kanda King Dasaratha had gone through a bad dream before Ram's leaving for forest. Bharata staying with his grandfather had a bad dream as King Dasaratha expired in Ayodhya. In Sundara Kanda, Trijata, a Rakshasa woman guarding Sita Mata, had a dream in which she foresaw Ram's coming to Lanka, killing all the Rakshasas and taking her in the Pushpak Viman to Ayodhya. She told about the dream to the Rakshasa woman guarding her in Ashokavan. Mandodari, the wife of Ravana in Yuddha Kanda had foreseen the killing of Ravana by Ram and advised her husband not to go for war with Ram and instead extend a hand of friendship. Maya Devi before the birth of Gautama Buddha dreamt of a white elephant entering her womb and informed those by her sight. Whatever we see in deep sleep is a dream and is like life to our mind. To keep away from the state of alertness is sleep. In sleep all our five indriyas are in the state of rest. However, our mind keeps doing its work. Mind remembers the scenes as seen in the dream and reminds us as we come to semi-sleeping state. So far we have analyzed about dreams now let us proceed further to know the role of shirdi sainath in the dreams of his devotees let us know about lala lakshmi chand he was totally ignorant about sai however in a dream during the month of december 1910 he saw an old man with beard surrounded by his devotees he saw his photograph in a friend manjunath's house with face resembling that of the old man as seen in the dream baba appeared in the dream of a woman from barahampur and expressed the desire to eat kichdi a preparation made of out of rice both these persons had not seen or even heard about sai earlier from this we can understand that sai appeared in the dreams of people whom he wanted to call and made his presence felt Sai appeared in the dreams of two persons simultaneously at the same time and it is mentioned in the chapter 39 of Sai Satcharita he appeared in the dream of Bapu Saheb Bhuti and Madhavrao Deshpande at the same time 
he asked them to construct a vada in shirdi samadhi mandir of today is the outcome of the same dream wherein large numbers of devotees pray before baba and get his blessings shirdi sai baba not only appeared in the dreams of his devotees but also visualized instances from a distance and conveyed to the devotees seated around him in dwarka mai this is narrated in chapter 50 of sri sai sacharita baba told the devotees seated before him in dwarka mai in the morning hours that some important guests were expected to visit his darbar on that day later by evening durandara brothers turned up for having darshan of baba baba told these are the guests about whom i was talking in the morning with the help of divya drushti baba used to monitor the difficulties of his devotees situated miles away and attend on them while he was seated in dwarka mai in chapter 7 of sai sacharita on the festive day of diwali in the year 1910 baba saved from a distance the child of a blacksmith who accidentally fell down from the lap of the mother into the fire sai appeared in the dreams of his ailing devotees and thereby cured them of their illness we can know from chapter 13 that bhima ji patel was suffering from tb and baba cured him in the dream baba appeared in the dream of bhima ji patel as a school teacher and made him to recite a poem he thrashed him with a cane in the dream in the chapters 18 and 19 of sai sacharita baba appeared in the dreams of a person addicted to alcohol sat on his chest and had not left him until he promised to give up the habit now i would like to narrate two of my experiences with baba in my dreams i was under the impression that sai does not know english very soon i realized that it was my mistake in the year 1993 sai appeared in my dream and gave me a white colored drink It was like a starch solution taken out from the hot cooked rice. I asked Baba what the drink was. Baba replied that the drink was called bros by the English people. Suddenly I got up from my bed after feeling the heat of the drink on my lips. Jotted down the word bros on a piece of paper. Next day I looked for the meaning in the 20th century Chambers dictionary. To my surprise the meaning runs like this it is a simple and nutritious drink made by pouring hot milk or boiling water into oatmeal and is seasoned with salt and butter it means it is a drink prepared with oats thus baba conveyed in the dream that he knew english language by offering me the drink made out of the oats thus he helped me in removing my inner ego In 1995 through another incident baba demonstrated that he had the knowledge of english one night before going to bed i prayed baba to permit me to go to consult a doctor in hyderabad for my ailment sai appeared to me in the dream and said beware do not go to that doctor he will perform an operation called lapidation on you Next day I looked for the meaning of the word lapidation in the dictionary I read as punishment by stoning that meant the doctor will stone me to death so till today I have not dared to see that doctor Sai appeared in the dreams of his devotees and blessed them this is known by the following incident in the chapter 28 of Sri Sai Sacharita Baba appeared in the dream of Megha sprinkled few akshatas on him and said megha draw the symbol of trishul and worship shiva lord shiva is arriving next day morning megha found the akshatas recollected the dream and approached baba in dwarka mai baba said i do not need an entrance to step in i neither have a form nor existence as i am present everywhere I keep a watch on all those who have faith and worship me so that everything happens to them as destined under my control. Now Baba made his presence felt to his devotees by appearing in dreams even during daytime. Let us recall 
a few incidents from Satcharitra. In the chapter 11 of Sri Sai Satcharita, Baba appeared to Dr. Pandit in the form of his guru Raghunath Maharaj and made him to apply sandalwood paste on Baba's forehead. In the 12th chapter, Baba appeared to Mule Shastri as his guru Golab Swami and made him to worship him. Again in chapter 12 of Sri Sai Satcharita, to a doctor he appeared as Lord Sri Rama. In the chapter 29 of Sri Sai Satcharita, during noon arti time, Baba appeared as Sri Rama to a lady from Madras Bhajan Samaj. In chapter 31 of Sai Satcharita, Baba advised his devotee Balaram Mankar to go to Machendragar and meditate three times a day. To him, Baba appeared in physical form to establish that he was present everywhere. Baba said to Balaram, "You have always thought me as a man confined to Shirdi alone. Now see for yourself and compare. Let me know if there is any difference in my looks and stature at Shirdi and in Mastendragar. Therefore, we should always remember that." Baba is not limited to Shirdi alone. In chapter 30 to a Punjabi person by name Ramlal residing in Bombay Baba appeared as a mahant and asked him to come over to Shirdi. Then he appeared to Kaka ji Vaidya a priest of Saptasringi temple in village Vani and invited him to come over to Shirdi. In this way Baba appeared in the dreams of his devotees and made them to come to shirdi we all know that baba took mahasamadhi on 15th october 1918 baba appeared in the dream of dasagunu in the early morning hours of 16th october 1918 and said dwarka mai has collapsed the entire businessman troubled me a lot So I have left that place. I came here to make you aware of the situation. Go over there immediately and cover my body with lot of flowers. Dasagunu came to Shirdi, put garlands, covered the body with lot of flowers, worshipped Baba's body and chanted the name of Lord throughout the day. Later after all the last rites were performed Dasagunu served food to the poor. Baba answered indirectly through other devotees for doubts raised in the minds of his devotees. In chapter 45 of Sai Satcharita, Baba appeared in the dream of Anandrao Phakade and cleared the doubts in the mind of Kaka Sab Dikshit. Let us look into chapter 48 of Sri Sai Satcharita. Sapatnekar was a lawyer during the year 1913 and hailed from Akalkot. His only son died due to throat infection and was very much upset by the incident. During a dream sequence, Sapatnekar's wife was drawing water from the well at Lakatsha. Baba followed her, came near her and addressed, "Why are you upset?" I shall fill your pot with pure water and blessed her Baba restored the soul of her lost child back into her womb and in the year 1914 Sapatnekar couple was blessed by Baba with a son In chapter 47 of Sai Satcharita Baba appeared in a dream of the wife of a rich man in the form of Mahadeva He asked her to donate funds for the temple repairs by selling away the jewelry she possessed after taking her husband's permission in this way baba used to give directives to his devotees in dreams baba used to advise his devotees by passing instructions through other devotees to get the works done we can come across one such incident in chapter 39 of sri sai satcharita He appeared in the dream of Anandrao Phakade and asked him to present Shama with silk clothes. In chapter 45 of Sai Satcharita, Baba appeared in the dream of Gopal Mukund Bhuti and Shama simultaneously. 
Baba asked them to construct Booty Wada and finally found his resting place there. On June 11, 1993, Baba appeared in my dream in the form of my former chief executive of the organization where I worked and said that he desired to live permanently in my house and ordered me to make a chair out of rosewood. I totally forgot about the incident. However, events happening later on have to prove that he had not forgotten. Sai Darbar was started in my residence on 26th January 1996 on the day of Radha Saptami. Even though I had not ordered, Carpenter made a chair out of rosewood and presented it to Sai Darbar. This was very surprising to me as well as my friends. The carpenter actually wanted to offer a chair with teak wood, but material was not readily available with him. So he made a chair out of the available material and gifted to Baba. This clearly establishes that Baba gets his works done through a chain of his devotees. Now let us see how Baba used to take Dakshina from his devotees as told in the chapter 14 of Sai Satcharita. He never used to ask for Dakshina from all the devotees whosoever came to Dwarkamai. If given unasked, at times he used to accept and sometimes he even refused. If someone thought that he could give Dakshina on asking, Baba never asked. He never touched the Dakshina which he did not ask. If somebody was not having the money, what he asked? He used to ask them to take loan and offer Dakshina. In this way, Baba used to take Dakshina thrice or even four times in a day from certain people. Now, even though not present in physical form, Baba asked for Dakshina in dreams and collected it. This will be known by an incident that happened in my life on 9th March 1992 early hours of the day. I was sleeping in my sister's place in Vishakapatnam of Andhra Pradesh. Baba appeared to me in the form of a person wearing a full suit and goggles and addressed me. You came to Vishakapatnam, gave money to your would-be son-in-law and their parents, but nothing to me. Give me rupees five. I took it as my luck. On the same day in early morning, at 6 a.m., I was waiting to board a train on the platform at Vishakapatnam Railway Station. I was on my return journey to Hyderabad, waiting for the arrival of East Coast Express. Sun was just rising in the east. I noticed a man dressed in a suit, wearing goggles, coming from the other end of the platform. He sat on the same bench on which I was sitting and waiting for the train's arrival. I recalled the dream in the morning wherein I was asked a dakshina of rupees 5 by Baba. I was wondering whether Baba had come for taking dakshina or whether it is my illusion. He may not accept an offering and he may fight with me. So I dropped a 5 rupees note near his feet and I addressed him, Sir, a five rupees note had fallen down from your pocket. He bent down and picked up the note and smilingly walked away towards the other end of the platform and soon disappeared. To me, it can't be anybody else other than Sai Nath who laughed over my ignorance. Baba passed on many messages to his devotees which could contribute towards their spiritual growth. He granted many experiences to generate a faith in the minds of the people to prove that he was one with all of them. Baba gave me many experiences, instructions and messages through dreams to strengthen my faith. On 2nd April 1914, Baba appeared in the dream of B.V. Dev and asked him whether he was able to understand contents in Jnaneshwari. Dev replied negative. Later, Baba sat by his side, made him to read, explained him about Jnaneshwari, and thereby contributed 
for dev's spiritual growth now i will place some of my dream contents before you the fundamental question faced by everyone at some time or other is what is life i put forward this question to sai and he replied life is like a white paper you write good words on it people will hold it in high esteem on the other hand if you write bad words people will tear it off and show paper the way to dustbin from that time onwards i am keeping away from anything that is undesirable naturally everyone aspire a peaceful life i sought help from sai sai replied that it will be wiser to keep low profile rather than flying high in the middle of flames i tried to put his words into practice i turned as a sai devotee in the year 1989 but still i could not get rid of difficulties faced in official as well as in personal life i prayed sai nad once in the year 1996 he told me in a dream let the metal of life be heated in a fire forge it with hammer blows later dip it in a solution called sai and then look for the glitter i could understand the inner meaning of these words only in the year 1996 since then i cultivated the habit of living insensitive to the happenings around baba never wore saffron robes he always wore only a white kafni i also wanted to wear the white robes sai gave a message in dream wearing white means to lead life of purity therefore with the help of sadguru we should learn to live in peace everybody wants to live in happiness however difficulties do come whether we invite them or not at best we can try not to pass on the same difficulties to others let us all as sai devotees pledge to follow these guidelines spiritualism is born out of difficulties and happy events we face in our daily life i asked baba how to travel on the spiritual path when we are passing through difficult periods baba said i do not approve people turning into alcoholics in a bit to run away from difficulties or fasting in the name of god however firm faith in the god should be placed which itself can be called spiritual path presently 99% of sai devotees are engaged in grihastha dharma once i was casually thinking about the never ending responsibilities i was facing in life then baba said past events of the life keep running after us like a snake chasing in vengeance however those in spiritual path are unaffected by its presence completing all responsibilities in life is the first step in the path of spiritualism i took the word seriously and completed all my responsibilities before entering into vana prasastra dharma of course in the process i am not able to win over the love and affection of my dear ones i was once disturbed baba advised it is natural to get disturbed but at the same time do not anticipate any sympathy pray god to compensate the lost love in some other form then i asked baba whether one should remember the past memories baba said old memories are like ruined buildings unfit for the present living it is therefore better that one should leave behind the old memories if everyone adopts to these living principles then there shall be no room left for seeking vengeance violence jealousy etc and people can hope to live in peace in the year 1999 while i was in government service baba said in my dream that you are now at the peak keep the ongoing flight to such an extent that a reserve fuel is still available for safe landing of the aircraft 
In the year 2000, going by Baba's advice, I opted for voluntary retirement at the age of 54, and from then onwards, decided to dedicate my life in service of Sai and his devotees. I have seen everybody comparing the life's journey with the train travel. What is the starting point and what is the ending point? Was my question to Baba. Baba appeared in the form of my mother and said the starting point in one's life begins with entering into mother's womb and the end point is re-entry into another womb after death i asked baba you have given me so many messages how should i conduct myself in the spiritual field baba appeared as a farmer and said to remove all the unnecessary weeds of ignorance from the fields will be my job and your job would be to grow plants of wisdom which will eventually give a good harvest in this way every human being can remove darkness around him kindle the lights of wisdom with the help of sadguru to lead a peaceful life in chapter 40 of sai satcharita sai made us to realize that He is always present among his devotees. In the year 1917, Baba appeared in the dream of Hamad Pant in the form of a sannyasi on the festive day of Holi, and said that he would come to their house for lunch. Exactly by lunch hour, Baba came to Hamad Pant's house in the form of a photograph, and we all know about this incident. During the month of March 1996 on a Sunday Baba appeared in my dream as my former chief executive and said that he would come to my house for having lunch I informed my wife in advance as she has to prepare extra food she made fun of me and jokingly said you have no acquaintance with your chief executive how can you expect him to come for lunch and why at all he will come i had a firm faith in baba that he will never let down his devotees baba graced the house of hamad pant in the form of a photograph however i was not in a position to forecast the form in which baba will come to my house i was eagerly waiting for him without taking food in those days my wife was a beginner and was not having full faith in baba She waited up to one o'clock in the afternoon, and had her food. I waited up to two thirty hours in the afternoon, and with a heavy heart, went to the dining table for taking food. It was just five minutes after I started with my lunch. Sri Satya, a tradesman of our company, came in and joined for lunch with me. He later told me, while having lunch. that on completion of the first shift in the factory he felt that he should have lunch in my house i was happy when he told me that he was hungry and wanted to eat in my house i took it as a great fortune serving baba who came to my house in the form of a tradesman to have food with me these happenings further strengthened my wife's faith in baba in chapter 13 of sai satcharita We have seen that Baba could cure Bhima Ji Patil's TB by thrashing him with a cane. In the year 1992, he made me aware of the impending heart attack in advance and made me to carry sorbitrate tablet always in my pocket. On 21st April 1996, I suffered from heart attack as indicated by Baba. Luckily, I had the tablet readily in my pocket. I kept it below my tongue. and visited the nearest doctor on hearing this the doctor was surprised by the advice of baba and said that i am saved only due to baba's grace subsequently all the routine tests were carried out later on 17th may 1996 i was operated for a triple bypass surgery thus baba saved me from a crisis by preparing me in advance Baba attained Maha Samadhi on 15th October 1918. Next day morning, 
Baba appeared in the dream of Lakshman Mama Joshi and asked him to offer arati to his mortal remains. In the early morning hours of Sri Ram Naomi, in the year 1991, Baba appeared in my dream and asked me to offer all the four artis as he would grace my house in the form of Ram and Lakshman. As ordered by Baba, I performed all the rituals and artis, distributed prasadam to all the visitors and was about to go to bed. Myself and my wife were recollecting all the events and scanning for Ram and Lakshman in them. Then she reminded me of my friend Raghuraman and his two daughters who had darshan of Baba and collected the prasadam. His two daughters were twins. It is a normal practice in Andhra Pradesh, household name to twins as Ram and Lakshman. I considered myself to be lucky to have Baba visiting my house in the form of twin daughters of my friend. When his devotees are suffering, Baba used to give an indication through dream as to when they would recover. Let us know from the chapter 33 about his devotee Bhakta Narayan Rao. He was not at all well. He prayed Baba and asked when he would recover. Baba came out of a tunnel and said that he would recover by tomorrow and that he can start walking in a week's time. As conveyed, Narayan Rao fully recovered in a week's time. Those were the days when I was almost nearer to my deathbed and Baba saved me. I shall give an account of the incident. Baba forewarned me in the year 1992 of the heart attack that I would suffer in the year 1996. As predicted, I had a chest pain in the morning hours on 21st April 1996. I was admitted to CDR hospital. I was put on temporary medications and had undergone angiogram on 29th April 1996. A decision was taken to perform triple bypass surgery. I prayed Baba and asked him to pull me out of the crisis. Baba said to me that the grace of God will come only after 15th May and to bear till that time. I have undergone triple bypass surgery on 17th May 1996. Two days later, Baba gave me an assurance that I will be on my own in another 10 days. I was discharged on 29th May 1996 and could offer Aarti to Baba. In this way, through dreams, Baba supported me by giving the necessary courage and instructions by way of messages and gave me a new lease of life. Sai is instrumental in spiritual growth of his devotees by creating awareness and educating them about Vivek and Vairagya. He also gave lot of experiences in dreams. In chapter 33 of Sai Satcharita, Baba said in his own words, Brahma, the creator is the ultimate truth. Everything in this universe is transient. Nobody is permanent and be it mother, wife, son or relative. We come into this world alone and we shall go all alone. However, I did not initially believe in these words. On 6th January 1993, Baba appeared in my dream and gave a good message. In the dream sequence, myself, my wife and children were traveling by a train. As the train started, a ticket collector entered to check the tickets. He saw the tickets and said that this train is not meant for entire family. Only you have to travel by this train. He took Dakshina of rupees 2 from me. My wife and children overheard our conversation and jumped out of the train which had just started moving without even consulting me. I waited for the next station to come, got down and requested the station master to contact the previous station and inform my wife and children about my presence. 
द स्टेशन मास्टर स्माइल्ड एंड सेड ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल पाथ नो बडी विल कम अलॉन्ग विथ यू वंस बिगन डू नॉट लुक बैक इन स्पाइट ऑफ दट आई वॉज वॉकिंग बैकवर्ड्स ऑन द ट्रैक विथ लव फॉर माई वाइफ एंड चिल्ड्रन आई नोटिस ए रेल इंजन कमिंग फ्रॉम बिहाइंड मी इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी देर वॉज अ वॉल द रेल इंजन हिट द वॉल एंड हैड ब्रोकन विदाउट कॉजिंग एनी इंजरी टू मी आई केम ऑफ द ट्रैक एंड फाउंड ए बिग ओपन लैंड एंड वॉज वॉकिंग एज सम इनविजिबल पावर वॉज ड्राइंग मी देर आई कोलैप्सड my soul was flying high in the sky through this dream baba created a taste for spiritualism in me in chapter 6 of sai sacharita hamad pant said a ship will sail a safe passage with the help of sadguru baba conveyed the same message to me through a dream on 6th march 1993 now i will tell you the details of that dream I was pedaling a three-wheeler cycle rickshaw with my wife and children seated slowly because of the rough road in the meanwhile it started raining heavily the path was not clearly visible and my children did not like slow movement and had got out of the rickshaw my wife was picking up a quarrel and hurt me with harsh words i was not able to proceed further An aged colleague of mine came to me and offered help to push from behind and said that I will help you till the last breath. I fully believed that the aged colleague is none other than Sai. I would like to tell you a very important message given by Baba to me in one of my dreams. You need not go to Haridwar for having the darshan of Lord. open your manodwar that is the gates of your mind you can find sri hari there i used to remember these words whenever i get a feeling that i am not able to go on pilgrimage if somebody questions me in this kali yug is there a god who attends on call i would like to humbly submit that it is only our sadguru shirdi sai baba let us all together pray lord sai nath and reach our destined goals jai sai ram mm-hmm.